Well, we got some news from Qualcomm with the release of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 Gen 2. And I really want to show you guys how good this chipset performs in Geekbench 5 and in Dunan benchmarks. And I'll also tell you about its new GPU, CPU connectivity, memories, and with many new features. And you will really like this chipset, believe me. So what are we waiting for? Let's test it and review it, starting with benchmarks. In the Gigunch 5 single core test, the chipset has scored 640 points. And in multi-core performance, it achieves a total score of 1938 points. And in n benchmarks, the CPU achieves 112,621 points. And the GPU displaying its power with 90,438 points. And the memory also scores 59,286 points. And the UX also shows faster scores with 101,641 points. That achieves a total score of 360,820, which is faster and better than its predecessor. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 boosts a sophisticated CPU architecture that combines the power of two Cortex S78 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and six Cortex F55 cores operating at 2 GHz. With a total of eight cores, this arrangement enables a seamless balance between high performance tasks and energy efficient operations. This chipset runs in a frequency of 2.2 GHz. The processor ARM version 8.2 A instruction set ensures efficient execution of instructions. And this processor is also very power efficient because it's based on a 4 nanometer processor technology, which is manufactured by Samsung. The Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 redefines efficiency and performance standards. On the graphics front, the Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 features the Arduino 613 GPU integrated with the Arduino 600 architecture. This GPU operates at a frequency of 955 MHz. This GPU excels in delivering a visual captivating experience and smooth graphics performance with the support of Vulkan version 1.1, 2.0, 2.0 and DirectX 12. The Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 processor offers impressive memory capabilities, featuring LPDDR5 RAM running at a memory frequency of 3200 MHz. And if you like this video, then a sub to the channel will be very special. It is the first time I'm seeing a budget chipset running at LPDDR5 RAM. This chipset has dual 16-bit bus configuration, and it achieves a maximum bandwidth of 25.6 GB per second, ensuring swift data access and efficient multitasking. In terms of multimedia processing, the processor is equipped with a neural processing unit. This chipset also supports storage types as UFS 2.0 and UFS 3.1. And again, it's the first time I'm seeing a UFS 3.1 storage technology in a budget chipset for faster read and write speeds. This chipset has a maximum display support of up to Full HD+, with 60Hz refresh rate. And when it comes to cameras, this chipset can support primary camera at 108MP and two other 16MP cameras. In terms of video recording capabilities, this chipset can only record 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second and can also playback at 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second. The processor is also well equipped with the Cortex like S2.64, H2.65 and VP94 video, as well as audio codecs including AAC, AIFF, CAF, MP3, MP4 and WAFV. Connectivity options for Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 are extensive, featuring Snapdragon X60 Watt modem with support of LTE CAT 18 and 5G capabilities, with a download speed of 2.5 GB per second and upload speed reaching up to 900 MB per second that delivers rapid data transfers. The processor supports Wi Fi 5 and a Bluetooth version 5.2, ensuring seamless wireless connection for various devices. The Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 chipset is a good upgrade from its predecessor, the Snapdragon 4 Gen 1. This chipset now has faster CPU, faster GPU, faster memories, advanced LPDDR5 RAM, and an advanced X61 modem. And this chipset also has more room to play with. So many of new upcoming smartphones will be using this chipset. So please stay tuned for that. So yeah, this was my full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 chipset. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Hamza, this is Sage Tech, and see you in the next video.